Thyla Shuris with Pushing Green, and this is Atta Kiarash, who is one of the co-owners of Solar Solution Services, uh, Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, right? Yes. Uh, putting solar panels up on uh, roof homes and commercial buildings all over, all over this particular area. How old is your company? We're two and a half years old. So what have we got here? We're, on a, we're in the middle of Washington, D.C., essentially, or actually a bit on the outskirts. Uh, we have panels down below us and some panels here. Is the whole house powered now with solar power? One hundred percent. This system will actually produce a little over than what the current consumer or the current owner actually needs, but this is anticipation for later down the road. We've net zeroed on this system. Okay, what does net zeroed on the system mean and what do you mean in terms of kilowatts and what sure. do you actually run? Well, this customer here has a 9.5 kilowatt system mm -hmm. and the 9.5 kilowatt system, the way it's designed is that right now it will pretty much offset their entire cost so currently, instead of having to purchase electricity from companies uh, like the power providers, they can actually now produce their own electricity and become green. Run everything. Everything. Of course. Which is very important to folks at home because we get questions about that. But um, in terms of cost savings and how much you save in your electricity bills, this one's net zero. But what does that mean in terms of when do you get your $50,000 back over the life you of actually, your You actually get it back on the first day. Um, the way the grants and incentives are set up, especially for d residents here in Washington, D.C., is that the federal government or the state will actually send you a check before the system is actually even installed. So many Not times, <laughs> yeah, so many times you accept that as a form of payment, obviously. So it never comes out of the customer's pockets. Also, um, there's different ways, such as selling your SREX, which is referred to as sole renewable energy credits, and also the 30% federal tax rebate that you get back from the government the very following year on your taxes. So when you take all those three and put them together, as long as the price is competitive, then the customer does have the ability to be net zero, which is the entire system is paid for on the first day. Now that's, is Washington DC or these, the, the states around here, are they unique in terms of the state incentives, for example? Mm. L let me back up, let me back up for everybody. Federal incentives are there. Yes. What's the federal incentive? The federal incentives are a 30% federal tax credit that's given to you till the year 2016. It's from the overall size of the contract. Pre-2009, the only incentive that was available was a $2,000 tax credit that was provided, um, and unfortunately that was it. Now, the, after 2009, it's a 30% federal tax credit for the entire system size. It's no cap to it. There's no limit. There's no uh, special uh, circumstances based on that system size. And that's just the federal side. So 30, you're covered 30% for through a federal grant incentive rebate. Yes, it that way. exactly. Now, in particular area, uh, it's costing or it costs the owner nothing. And yes. that's because of tax credits you well, that's, that's due to tax. Back. Well, the tax credits are given to you the following year, but everything else is in the form of a check. So for us, it's, it's net zero for our company. Um, some of the other competition, I know it depends on the installer that you go with, but some installers, their prices are higher. Obviously, the higher the price, you're no longer in that zero because now you have to wait for two, three years for you recoup your cost. But overall, it's still a great savings because even if you have to wait for three years, four years, you're still looking at 25, 30% return on your investment. So you said that there's a special credit or, or buyback? How did you put it? I think you referred to solar renewable energy credits, the SREX. Um, yes, the SREX is actually a uh, mandated law that all the power suppliers in the United States have to have a certain portfolio that are from renewable sources such as wind, solar, or geothermal sources. Um, every year they have to meet a certain mandate. If they don't meet that, it's they, they get penalized. And customers such as this customer has a solar system, so now they meet those requirements. So this is worth a certain value to the power companies. Okay, Atta Kiarash with Solar Solution. Hopefully we've answered all your questions. If not, send them in and, and, and we'll deal with them and talk to Atta again, I hope. Thanks. Thank you.